So I had a smoke detector go off last night. Um, luckily it wasn't, <laughs> it's actually in the morning so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but it started to chirp. You know how they, they chirp when they say, ah, oh, the battery's low. And it kind of woke me up and I had to go disable the smoke alarm. Anyway, the, the, the newest smoke alarms have these lithium batteries on them and they're supposed to be a 10 year battery. They, they say, oh, 10 years, but what does 10 years mean? Um, I think 10 years means the shelf life. It's like you could let this sit around for 10 years and then it should work. It doesn't mean if you're like pulling current out of it all the time, it's going to last an entire 10 years. Of course not. And there's probably some bell shaped curve on that 10 years. And anyway, mine was in there. Oh gosh. Um, maybe four years. Um, and this one started to chirp. Anyway, um, I've ordered some other ones and I guess they're better to have than normal nine volts and smoke detectors. They do last longer. Um, anyhow, um, I've seen a lot of videos of people tearing apart nine volt batteries and, uh, they're usually these, uh, rectangular stacks in there to get up to nine volts, but this is the lithium. So I was kind of curious how they, how the lithium was, was, uh, constructed. So, um, see if I can try to peel it here. So there's a foil cover on this. And this is the Duracell ultra lithium battery. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it says, uh, March, 2021. So it should be good to 2021. Yeah. Right. Anyway, let's rip it open here. This is plastic, uh, and it looks like there's three cylindrical cells in there. Just interesting. So a normal lithium battery is three volts, so I guess that makes sense. That's sticky. Um, so yeah, three plus three plus three is get you nine. And there's some strapping that's spot welded on there. Um, the negative goes to the that cell and then that cell runs over to that cell, and that cell runs over to that cell, and then a long one back. So yeah, interesting. Um, much, much different than the, uh, the regular alkaline versions. Um, and I suppose it's kind of interesting too. Um, if you had some reason to build a device that needed a little round lithium battery, this might be a cute way to get it. Um, I don't know if these are a standard size. They're not, they're not like a, um, like a 123 battery. They're, they're much smaller than that. Uh, where's my, where's my ruler here? Uh, let me get this ruler out. That's better. See if we can do it in millimeters. Looks like about 13 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Hmm. I don't know, know if that's a standard size or special made for uh, made for these. Let me uh, see if I can take one out. Uh, Grab some cutters here. These are my new cutters I got off, got off of eBay, and the nice thing about them is they have carbide inserts, so should be able to cut through this very easily. Okay, and the back side here. Looks like there's a another we have in the frame here. Another um, there we go. Another layer of plastic. And we have this one loose, so let's cut it off from here. There we go. Now will that one come out? Oh it does. Cute. <laughs> uh Cute little cell. It's uh, got a heat shrink uh, wrap around it, though, but no uh, 
no markings to what it to what it is. Yeah, um, easier to measure now. Yeah, definitely. 13 by 20, 24, four maybe. Let's see. Yeah, 13 by 24. Um, and it's got little tabs on it, so you could solder that into your circuit. Um, these are not rechargeable lithiums. These are one-time use lithiums. But um, yeah, cute little, cute little cell.